Okay, we're recording and share my sketchbook. Okay, so we are going to talk about derivatives of exponential functions. We did logarithmic functions in section 1.11.1. Now we're going to do 11.2. And exponential functions, just as you recall, y equals e to the x, y equals 4 to the x, y equals anything to the x is an exponential function because x is in the exponent. And when we take a derivative, let's forget about that guy. When we take a derivative, oh, first of all, an exponential function looks like this, where it goes through the point, always goes through the point zero, 01. And this curve gets steeper and steeper and steeper. And this is the problem with the coronavirus, is the coronavirus is growing exponentially in cities like New York and San Francisco and other places. Um, and so when one person gets infected, then two, then four, then eight, then 16, and that gets very big very fast. And we're gonna look at the slopes of the tangent lines. And if I try to draw the tangent lines here, oh, I didn't do such a bad job. That one looked like I was drunk. Anyways, you see how as X gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the tangent lines get steeper and steeper and steeper, and the tangent lines increase as quickly as the exponential function does. That's because when we calculate the slope of the tangent lines by taking the derivative, they also follow the same pattern, e to the x. And so, well, that makes e to the x really easy to differentiate. The derivative is e to the x. But the place where we're going to have challenges is when it's y equals e to the u, where u is some function of x. And when we do that, as you can imagine from the chain rule, the derivative is going to be, we'll follow this pattern for the whole function. The derivative is going to be e to the u, but then we're going to multiply by the derivative of the goop inside the exponent. We're going to have a u prime down there. And this is the general pattern for all the derivatives we're going to do for exponential functions. And then it's just a question of learning how to apply all the other rules we've done to exponentials. So for example, y equals e to the 2x. y prime is going to be e to the 2x times the derivative of the goop inside the exponent, 2. 2 e to the 2x. Uh, where'd my cursor go? There it is y equals e to the x squared. Well, the derivative is going to be e to the u. Then we'll take the derivative of the goop inside the exponent, 2x. So 2x e to the x squared. So that is the basic rule for doing um, derivatives of exponentials. Now it's just going to be a question of applying all the other rules that we've learned so that we can do it. So let's do a couple of simple ones, and then we'll stop this video and start a new one. So first of all, y equals uh, 3x e to the x squared. So I see this as a product rule problem because I have 3x multiplied into an exponential function. So I'm going to write this as the product rule says derivative of the first times the second, doesn't change, plus the first stays the same times the derivative of the second, which would be e to the x squared times the derivative of the goop in the exponent, e to the u and then du down here, um, 2x. So I simplify this to be 3e e to the x squared plus 6x squared e to the x squared. No more simplification we can do. Then let's try another one. Because uh, that was so much fun. y equals x over e to the x. 
Ah, dividing. So this could be a quotient rule problem, which would probably be a foolish way to do it. Or as we've talked about before, you can move this function into the numerator by changing the sign on the exponent. So I can write this as x e to the minus x. And now let's do the product rule. So we'll do the derivative of the first, which is one times e to the minus x, plus the first stays alone, derivative of the second. So derivative of e to the u is e to the u times du, the derivative of the exponent. So this will be e to the minus x, my, oops, wrong, minus x, oops, e to the, don't go into that, e to the minus x. This minus sign came down over here. So these are the basic properties. Ooh, my CPU is getting hot. For exponentials, and we'll come back and look at some more complicated problems in a minute. Bye.